I know we've been talking about this for a while because I remember just a few months back, President Biden had to walk yeah. back yeah. similar comments. So uh, is this any different from what he said in the past? Well, this, yeah, this is this is a pattern with uh, with the president. He he has said this before that the U.S. would defend Taiwan, and then the White House walks back his remarks. The president has actually never really backtracked on his uh, pledge that U.S. forces would would engage in a conflict over Taiwan. Um, but tonight he was unambiguous about it. He was in this interview with 60 Minutes, the CBS news program here in the U.S. Uh, he was asked twice by the interviewer whether whether U.S. forces would would be involved in a, in, a, in a war over Taiwan. And he said both times, yes. Uh, now, the, the 60 Minutes and Bloomberg News have gone to the White House and asked if there's any change in U.S. policy or change in the one China policy. And the, the White House assures us, no, there's not. The, the one China policy stands. Um, but I, I think this is clearly uh, a, 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 a warning from the president to, to China that if they – uh, make an actual, uh, you know, move on Taiwan. Um, they can they can expect to be in a war with with U.S. forces. So, if the White House again reiterates that there's no change to the strategic ambiguity policy, is there domestic support yeah. though, particularly going into the election? Obviously, the China hawks will like this. Is there broader support for this level of of uh, firmness from the president? I, you know, that's a that's a great question, and I don't really know the answer. I know there are there are certainly people in Congress, including Republicans, who 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 have, have applauded the president for being more clear than his predecessors about how the U.S. would respond to a, a Chinese attack on Taiwan. But I, you know, I I'm just speculating here, but I I think there is there is probably you know a, a degree of. Um, of war weariness in the United States after some two decades of involvement in foreign wars, and I and I and I doubt the American people are are, are particularly eager to get into a war with China over Taiwan. Um, I'm, I'm sure nobody nobody wants that, including the president. Um, but but I you know this this is a, a kind of a ratcheting up of tensions. I, I think I would expect a a pretty furious response from from Beijing this morning uh, over these remarks and the 60 Minutes interview.